There are many possible causes of ridges on the nails, and today we are going to discuss them in depth. Nails are not just an aesthetic feature. They can provide important insights into your overall health. Normal nails should appear pink, shiny, and without blemishes. Any type of abnormality in the nail may be a sign of an underlying medical problem. Today, we are focusing on vertical ridges, which are common nail irregularities that can appear for various reasons. In this video, we will explore the potential causes of these ridges and discuss their implications. To better understand the causes of vertical ridges, it is crucial to grasp the basics of nail anatomy. Nails are composed of multiple layers of a protein called keratin, which forms a hard protective structure. The visible part of the nail is known as the nail plate, and it grows from the nail matrix, a specialized area at the base of the nail. Most of the nail matrix is hidden under your skin, but the distal third is sometimes visible as a white, half-moon-shaped structure called the lunula. Take a look at your nails and see if you can observe this moon-shaped matrix. The matrix is responsible for producing new keratin, which then pushes the older keratin forward, forming the nail plate. On average, fingernail regrowth takes up to 6 months, while toenail growth takes 12 to 18 months. Any disruption or alteration in the normal growth process can result in the appearance of vertical ridges. The first cause of nail changes are related to the aging process. As we age, certain changes occur in our bodies, and our nails are not exempt from these transformations. Over time, the nail matrix may become less efficient at producing new cells, leading to variations in the nail plate's texture and appearance. Nail growth in general will slow down, and this can be associated with lines in the nail bed. These lines are usually harmless and are likely nothing to worry about. However, if these lines develop into ridges and become more pronounced, it may be a sign something is wrong. This may especially be the case if there are any other associated symptoms. Our second category today is nutritional deficiencies. Nutrition plays a vital role in maintaining the health of our nails. Deficiencies in essential vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients can manifest as nail abnormalities, including vertical ridges. In particular, inadequate intake of vitamins A, C, E, and biotin, B7, as well as minerals such as iron and zinc, can impact the nail structure and growth. The most specific nutritional deficiency that contributes to vertical nail ridges is iron. The body needs iron in order to make hemoglobin, which carries oxygen throughout our bloodstream and nourishes the cells in our body. If the nail bed does not get the nourishment it needs, it may develop vertical ridging. In addition to ridges, iron deficiency can also cause another problem with the nail called a spoon deformity. This deformity appears as a depression in the middle of your nail, like the center of the nail was scooped out. You may even be able to hold a drop of water on your nail if you have spooning. Anyone who has a combination of nail ridges and nail spooning should consider scheduling a blood test to have iron levels checked. Other symptoms of iron deficiency includes fatigue, hair loss, and anemia. If your healthcare provider discovers iron deficiency, or any other nutrient deficiency for that matter, it is important to figure out why. The most common causes of iron deficiency are heavy menstrual bleeding, poor dietary intake, and frequent blood donations. Another possible cause is bleeding in the gastrointestinal tract, which can be diagnosed with a stool test. Some individuals may have medical conditions, such as celiac disease, that cause poor absorption of nutrients from the food they eat. If you follow a specific diet, such as a vegan diet, talk to your healthcare provider or a dietitian to make sure you are consuming all the micronutrients your body needs. The next category includes dehydration and moisture imbalances. The moisture balance in our nails is crucial for their health and appearance. Excessive exposure to water, such as frequent hand washing without moisturizing or prolonged immersion in water, can dehydrate the nails, making them more prone to developing ridges. On the other hand, excessively dry nails can also exhibit vertical ridges. Finding the right balance and adopting proper nail care routines can help mitigate these issues. Certain skin conditions, such as eczema, may place you at higher risk for hydration issues and the formation of vertical lines on your nails. Next up, we will discuss trauma and injury. Our nails can be susceptible to trauma and injury, which can lead to the formation of vertical ridges. Repeatedly bumping or hitting the nails, excessive use of nail tools, and even biting your nails can cause damage to the nail matrix. This damage disrupts the normal growth process, resulting in the appearance of ridges as the nail plate is formed. 
Remember, it takes 6 to 18 months for nails to fully grow, so any trauma will be evident for a very long time. If the trauma is severe enough, it may cause permanent disfiguration of the nail bed. Understanding the importance of gentle nail care and taking preventive measures can help avoid such traumatic incidents. At the very least, try to avoid biting or picking at your nails. Our biggest category today involves underlying medical conditions. In some cases, vertical ridges on the nails can be indicative of an underlying medical condition. As an example, individuals with underactive thyroid, also known as hypothyroidism, can develop thick, brittle nails with vertical ridges. In these situations, nails may easily crumble or break. If the disease is severe enough, it may even cause nails to appear more rounded and fingertips to appear puffy. Hypothyroidism is most often due to autoimmune disease and will often present with other symptoms including fatigue, hair loss, constipation, dry skin, and more. Rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis are additional autoimmune diseases that can cause ridges to appear on the nails. It is also important to consider other types of medical conditions when nails appear abnormal. Peripheral vascular disease is characterized by a slow and progressively worsening circulation of blood throughout the body and can lead to the formation of nail ridges. In this condition, the extremities do not receive adequate circulation, leading to poor blood supply towards the fingers and toes. If your nail changes are associated with other changes such as cold extremities, pain, or blue-slash-purple discoloration, you should seek medical attention. Lichen planus is a condition of the skin, hair, nails, mouth, and genitals. On the skin, this often appears as purple, itchy, flat bumps that develop over several weeks. In the mouth and genital mucosa, lichen planus forms lacy white patches, sometimes with painful sores. It can cause several nail abnormalities, including ridges. The condition occurs when the immune system starts attacking cells in the skin and mucous membranes, leading to the symptoms mentioned. There is treatment available if symptoms are bothersome. The moral of the story is to pay close attention for any other symptoms throughout your body, as they could very well be connected to the changes happening in your nails. The next section is brief, but important. Genetics also play a role in determining the characteristics of our nails, including the presence of vertical ridges. Some individuals may have a genetic predisposition to developing these ridges, regardless of their overall health or lifestyle factors. A more severe genetic cause is known as derrier disease. Derrier disease, also known as keratosis follicularis, is a genetic disorder caused by a mutation in the ATP2A2 gene. This is often characterized by more severe changes of the nails and skin, as seen in these pictures. Aside from more severe genetic mutations, vertical ridges may be a more benign, inherited pattern from your family. If you notice vertical ridges in your nails and have a family history of similar nail conditions, it is possible that genetic factors are at play. While these ridges may not necessarily indicate any underlying health issues, it is still important to monitor your overall nail health and seek medical advice if other concerning symptoms arise. Before we get to our nail care tips, we will briefly list other potential causes and considerations. If any process interrupts the growth of the nail, it may cause a condition called Bose lines. These lines are more likely to be horizontal in nature. This will often happen to individuals undergoing treatment with strong medications such as chemotherapy or retinoids. Other exposures to consider are harsh chemicals, excessive heat, extreme cold, smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, and poor overall health habits. Although less common, changes to metabolism or hormones, such as pregnancy or menopause, can influence nail growth and texture, potentially resulting in vertical ridges. Understanding these additional factors can provide a more comprehensive view of the potential causes of vertical ridges and help you identify any relevant factors in your specific case. Nail Care Tips and Management While some causes of vertical ridges may be beyond your control, there are several steps you can take to improve nail health and manage the appearance of ridges. First of all, make sure you are consuming all the nutrients you need by maintaining a balanced diet. Consume a variety of nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, and proteins, to support healthy nail growth. If you do not have a balanced diet, consider adding supplementation to avoid any nutrient deficiencies. Next, hydrate your nails. Moisturize your nails and cuticles regularly to maintain optimal moisture balance and prevent dehydration. If this seems to be a problem, you can try to maintain moisture 24 hours a day. 
At bedtime, apply a skin cream to your hands and put on thin cotton gloves for sleeping. As we mentioned earlier, be mindful of protecting your nails as much as possible. Wear gloves when engaging in activities that may cause trauma or expose your nails to excessive moisture or chemicals. Although it may be inconvenient to wear gloves while working, it could go a long ways in protecting your nails from damage. Practice gentle nail care. Avoid using harsh nail tools such as metal files and opt for gentle filing techniques. Refrain from biting or picking at your nails. Finally, seek medical advice if your nails exhibit severe ridges, are accompanied by other symptoms, or are causing you concern. Remember, while some ridges may be harmless, it is important to be vigilant and seek professional advice if you notice any significant changes or accompanying symptoms. With proper care and attention, you can maintain healthy and beautiful nails. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more about living a happier and healthier life.